Whenever you're ready. Okay, cool. <coughs> yeah, they're across this, yeah, yeah. As far as I'm aware. Alright. Well, hello and welcome along to Derby Day 2016 here at Epsom Downs. A thrilling day's racing in prospect. And uh, if today promises what yesterday delivered, uh, we're in for a fantastic day's racing. Uh, a big field assembled for the big race at 4.30. 16 uh, due to go to post uh, for the richest race uh, run in Britain. Well over £1.5 million uh, in win and place prize money on offer uh, at 4.30 this afternoon. Just touching upon yesterday, a uh, fantastic day. It was Ladies' Day and it was very much a leading lady first, minding uh, having won the Oaks uh, in great style, uh, having uh, overcome so much interference from Turret Rocks when racing down Tattenham Corner. Uh, Ryan Moore produced her to a nicety uh, to go and win. Some queried whether or not she would stay. Uh, she certainly stayed well enough yesterday, uh, actually going away towards the line to go and score uh, and supplying Aidan O'Brien with his sixth Oaks victory. And uh, he now bids to do uh, the double, Oaks and Derby double, for the third time uh, here this afternoon. He's got five runners uh, in the big race. He's charged, headed by US Army Ranger, who will be the mount of Ryan Moore. Uh, also yesterday, uh, Rachel Casey was here, and she spoke to Oshin Murphy, uh, who was in the winner's enclosure aboard Examiner. Uh, he's got a good book of rides here this afternoon. No ride in the Derby, though, uh, but he will ride Simple Verse in the Coronation Cup. Some nice fillies and mares lining up in that race. So too Arabian Queen, uh, whose sister Australian Queen uh, ran in the Oaks yesterday afternoon. And I guess from a personal point of view, and I dare say a lot of people would think the same, uh, the highlight, potentially Tullius uh, winning the Diamed Stakes uh, in good style for Andrew Balding and Jimmy Fortune. Uh, the rider who, in my opinion, should get more big race rides, uh, but he's certainly shown that he certainly hasn't lost any uh, of his talent and prowess in the saddle. Strong as ever, getting the first time visored Tullius uh, home in front. He then doubled up in the Surrey Stakes uh, with Smuggler's Moon in those famous Sangster colours later on uh, on the card for Brian Meehan. He may well head to the jersey now at Royal Ascot. It was a fantastic day's racing yesterday. Today it looks set fair to be just as good, if not better. And Clark of the course, Andrew Cooper, uh, having walked the course earlier on, uh, has left the going at good to soft. He's quite happy with that. Uh, and if the temperatures are expected, we're due to get highs of 20 degrees here this afternoon on Epsom Downs. It may well dry out a little bit more, uh, thus playing into the hands of the likes of US Army Ranger and also the outsider in the field, or one of them, uh, Red Verdon, who will be the Mount of Sylvester de Souza, uh, who will also be catching up with uh, later on uh, here at uh, Epsom Downs. So all is set fair for a great day's racing. I'm certainly looking forward to it. And you certainly won't miss a thing uh, with us here on Turf TV for Derby Day 2016. All right. <laughs> huh? God knows how they're going <laughs> Oh, my God. I'll ring them now and see how that went. Yeah. 